the Admin Conservation, November 27th. First thing we have an old business partial uh, for a continuation request for a partial certificate compliance for file number 84492, lot A and B, 233-235 Ch uh, Chestnut Street for Crowley Construction. Sir, would you like to speak up? Come up, I'm sorry. How you doing, Mrs. Good. Thank you. First, I'll pass these out. Beautiful if I said they say so myself. Yeah, it goes like this, and then there's what's the screen down behind the rocks. Was something you needed to have? Yeah, an as built. Yeah, I got the as built here. Oh, okay, the, from the last time. Yes, I needed like three copies of that. That's the. Uh, I, I just <clears throat> letter, and these are the assholes. I just have a, <clears throat> it, it, and I know it's, it's kind of crazy now, but um, we gave a order of conditions on the entire property. Correct. One, one order of conditions, yeah. And, and is the bank requesting you? To they, they didn't. They, they didn't yet. So I'm like, because uh, well, that's the, that was the reason. You know, I'm thinking. <clears throat> Well, I had to come here, you know. And then when I went to the past, I didn't even ask for it. So I'm like, no, because we, we, we should only give you a certificate of compliance when everything's sold and done. Yeah. And a, con and a condominium association has been established. Yeah. I mean, that, that because we gave you a certificate of compliance on, I think, what is it, six units or something? Uh, seven. Yeah. So in reality, you, you shouldn't need. Keep doing this? You have to keep doing this with each one. Matter of fact, you shouldn't have to. Yeah, because it gets as long as long as, you, huh? as, long yeah, as you can pass papers. We, we and, and I was thinking about this because um, you didn't do this as individual. You did this as yeah, an entire like, project. Yeah. And I mean, if it found you people, because it's fine with me, because I got to keep calling him back, and he's charging me, you know, no, a lot it, of money. Yeah, and, and what I'm saying, I'm just, uh, is, and, uh, are you, you, you're yeah, a little more experienced than I do. You're not going to have any problems passing papers on houses, all right? Um, I haven't yet. I only passed the one, but I haven't. I don't think you're going to because it, it, there'll be an association established after that, right? Because it's a common drive and so exactly. forth. Exactly. I don't think we, we, we have to give him a partial. I, I, you've got more experience, Joe, than I do on this. I, well, I, do. I wouldn't want to. Mm -hmm. But I don't I'd, want I'd say we do this now and then just come back. When you're all done. When you're all, when done. You're all done. Yeah, just, that's just, what I was, I, was kind of so thinking, I was kind of thinking the same thing. I'm like, just so yeah. you don't have any problems. You know what I mean? Yeah. To, 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 to the fact that you could just say, I've been there and done this and done that at with yeah, the board. Yeah, and this is what they said. We can give him a partial. Yeah. Yeah, but he'll, he doesn't want to come back seven times. No, but yeah. still, I'd rather give him a partial on this now. And then if, I, you, go, if you go back, all of a sudden they say, okay, where's your I agree with that. Your stuff. I, I at just, least with this way, you can still pass on everything. Right. Got, got one yeah, one I mean, two. I can explain that through the past attorney, too. I said, well, I talked to conservation. They said, come back when everything is done. Right. Because it's one, one final plan. It's a current right. situation, yeah. Yeah. Because it, it, it's one, as we look at it, it's one order of conditions. Because you've already been here once. This is the second time. I mean, you, right. gotta, you don't want to. Well, that's fine with me because, uh, like I say, every time I call him. Yeah, and as long well, as it doesn't it's, have it's, it's, not, it's condos, right? It's not individual <laughs> lots, right? Correct. And it's all under one filing. Right. Yeah. Right. Because I was thinking, you know, the attorneys, you know, put it on record naturally. And, uh, yeah, I just don't want to have you leave now and then all of a sudden you call Nancy right. back up later on and goes, oh, I really wish I Well, I'll just explain to the attorney, too, that, you know, I talked to the conservation and they said, yeah. you know, when the project's all done, because it was one filing when there's I finished one, the project. A, yeah. There's one order of conditions. And, and so when you get done and and do the final grade, the final everything's done, the final code on the um, 
drive and so yeah. forth, then you want to come to us and say, okay, here's the, the order point. of conditions. Because what you're doing is you're basically, you, you, we gave you an order of conditions for everything, and you're just, you know, I mean, yeah, can you're I, asking for a I part. can't afford to do the whole thing at once. No, no, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, I understand. <laughs> and, but it's just crazy to have you keep coming back. Do you, you mean, you all agree? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there was a development with individual lots. That's different. That's, that's different. Like different. This is, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's all one piece. piece. It's all one piece. piece. Just like Michael said, it's one order of conditions that we took and put that. Right. Put right. That. So right. It's like, and then Joseph's true. We'll give the partial, but I would think. Yeah. Yeah. Then I'd rather see him go away with something then. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah then, then he can always say, say like, like right. I said, you know, There's he's already seen it. two of them right now. They approved this and that. got the other three more to go. Oh, what is it? Yeah, there's actually five more to go. Five more to go. Yeah. yeah. So, and I, I, you, you know want to make a motion? Yeah, how do we? So I make a motion to, how do we do this? Make a motion to accept those. Yeah, accept what is it? As built. Yeah, make a motion for a partial uh, certificate of compliance for lots A and B, 233 and 235 Chestnut Street. For Crowley Construction, um, and then just I guess what? Do we have to come back to yeah, the end? Come back. So come back when it's done. We won't have to come back until we're done with the, 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 the final. Yeah. With the final. Final lots. Yeah. Um, as built. Okay, that's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Trust me, I. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I was thinking that, but when I, when I filed them. <laughs> Because I'm just thinking that first, the attorney, if she asks me, I'm going to be there at the pass, and, and then I get there and uh, and say nothing. I went, oh, jeez. Then I got to thinking, well, maybe I should, should have said it's under one filing. And not. Right, but this way, if, if you just sell one at a time, that you can just go and say, I'll have a final order of conditions on file um, when the, the well, entire the, project yeah. is done. Yeah. So I, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I think you're right, though, this giving them something tonight. To give you, yeah, at least for the two anyway. Yeah. Okay. You know, okay. There's, yeah. There's, there's, there's no. Zeros. There's no. You go in front of the attorney, and she goes, "Oh, wait, hold up. No, I really yeah. need something." Yeah. yeah. Say, okay, right. here's something. Here's the partial. They gave me the partial. Okay. Right. Okay. Sounds good to me, guys. I'll right. right. second that. Okay. All those yeah. in favor? Aye. 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 All right. All right. All right. She'll have those at least on file. As What's the, that? As the ad builds. Right. Just right. give those to Nancy so she can have them. Oh, give these. Oh, yeah. Two. Please. Two. There's one, two. <laughs> But you'll come back at the end with two, and it'll be a revised order. Um, we'll just do a full certificate. Yeah. Just a full yeah. certificate. But like the mentor job, if they just do enough, that, that's individual lots. Yeah, lots. Because they actually came, they're even though they're all the same, you know. Yeah. Individual lots that have a certificate of individual lots. Right. The one off. What's that? We'll save you a lot too. Oh, I will. Yep. We're selling yeah. houses down there. Yeah. What was that? Because actually, yeah, they, they used to I got to put all the stuff in, and I wanted to get all that stuff down them before them. I called them back down again. Yeah, it's like they circle that. Because yeah. they have a set up yeah. every single time they come down. Yeah. yeah. You're all set. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. That was painless. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Much. Thank right, you. Good luck. Take care. Thanks. Continuing. New business uh, notice of intent, Dale Street. To uh, construct a single family home at the front. When we need. What, what so you just, we would just oh, we need the DEP number? SE 084 515. Notice of intent. This was and we had, you had to, have to bring something in for us? Or? Pardon me? You have to bring just something in? Is what it was? No. Was All we needed was the file number. Yeah, the file oh, that's right. right. We, had, we, had, yeah, we, had, we had done the presentation, yep, yep. talked amongst that. ourselves, that opened, it a, opened it to the public. I wonder what it was. Uh, but it was just the file, file number. Okay. I just watch you guys on TV. <laughs> and we have the file number. Some more cards oh. came in. Um, so that's what we're here for. We got the file number. Uh, and so we're just here to ask for to close the hearing and if you need any other information I can gladly go over it with you but uh, um. I'll make a motion that we uh, issue a notice uh, notice of <coughs> excuse me uh, we order issue the uh, order of conditions on SE 084 dash 515 for 5 Dale Street I'll second that all in favor all right. Aye. Aye. 
You're good to go. Wonderful. Good job. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Early, huh? Yeah. Painless. Painless, yeah. No. I know that's a right. So you really have that's to two painless in the world. Yeah, have to go. <laughs> it crossed the guy. Next is discussion <laughs> of the violation of enforcement okay. bonds. Oh, and you're going to do the order of conditions. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Um, what violation? Now, when we, we were talking about, um, I forgot what we were talking about. It's been so long ago. I should have done my homework. Um, enforcement violations. You know how we, we were on the board way back when what we had. Like oh, the right. first the first violation was $50. Right. The second violation is $100. Yep. The third one is $300. Well, we don't even issue any of those. Mm -hmm. I mean, we haven't. I we mean, don't have an enforcement officer. I think that was the final deduction on the whole thing. Who, who's was that? It. Yes. An actual we don't have a, We don't actually have an officer to go out and and issue the violations and so forth. I, I don't know what it would entail. Right. Um, and what happens a lot of times since I've been on the board is that by the time I mean we'll issue a cease and desist. Um, like for instance, Jerry was just doing one on Route 18. Uh, next to the golf course yeah. and but you need a police officer to go with you because you have to you know go and have it issued or, or send it by mail and then if they keep doing it who enforces it you, know, you bring right. them in and so forth and then would we be able to issue a violation citation to them through the mail it was like a mm -hmm. fine or something or? I think we could do that I, I yes, sir, yeah. Section that's listed <coughs> on that. Which one? Not bird approved. Through here. Oh. The commission is agents, officers, employees shall have the authority to enter upon. Yeah, we know about that one. Here you go. Did we get the same thing. Three Four samples. samples. Go down the bottom. That's where it starts. person who violates any provisions of this bylaw or regulation, permits, or administrative orders issued here under shall be punished by a fine, if not more than $300 a day, or portion thereto during the violation continuations or unauthorized fill or other allegations remain, all alterations remain in place, shall constitute a separate offense for each provision. I'm also thinking, I mean, $300 a day, that's huge. That, that we, would be. We, we were going to establish, I think actually when you were the chair, yeah. 50 to start up, 20, or 25, 50, 50 and up, up to 300. <coughs> and I don't yeah, think it's worth it. I was always in the impression it was up to $300 it's, a it's, day. It, it, it is. It shall be punishable by a fine <coughs> if not more than $300 each, $300 each day. We'll portion that to a portion of during which the violation could continue on. Yeah, but I think we were, we were thinking about almost like a, uh, 50 like to a start. ticket. Right. Yeah. Like, like and, you got, you, you, so um, you started doing some work on your property and you were in the wetlands and, you know, you got caught and you got to come in front of the board. Do they That's receive like a, assist, yeah. but did they, they receive a $50 ticket for that, for just doing that? Yeah. Personally, they rather see them come in and explain themselves if they want to be hot ass about it, then hit them with a fine. Right. You may get people who just don't know the rules. It's, oh, geez, you know. And that happens straight. That, that happens most of the time. And, right. the one, the, and then the ones that don't the abide. Flag, yeah, the flagrant ones. They find ways to get it. Just, they just don't show up and they don't pay, and who's going to enforce it? And, mm -hmm. okay, well, how, how far does town council go? or? And so forth to enforce it. it it's um, well, we have a couple in town that we have been talking about in the past, and, right. and have, have done that. It's it's the it's the enforcement. I have no problem with the fines. It's the enforcement, and um, it says on there someplace that we can legally go on property. Well, we can't legally go on property. That's um, I it, couldn't find that. And actually, gave me that. 
Actually, right here. Like a cut thing you made about going on the commission. Yeah, it says the commission. Uh, no, I, I saw that. But there was another one. She said you can't go on the park. Well, that's by the, the, police, the, police, the, police, the police department. I found that out the hard way. Yeah. Our bylaws don't overrule yeah. uh, trespassing well, I, violations. Because I, 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 I haven't been back to town office, but I asked the town council to give us. I did ask Rick about that. He was going to call town council. We had a short week. We haven't gotten back to the commission. I believe that when I first got on, well, uh, and I went on somebody's that. property and I was chased off for trespassing that I talked to somebody and they, uh, yeah. and it was said that our bylaws do not overrule right, she trespassing. Gave it, she gave a copy of it to me and it was yeah, said right. right that, right in, but I couldn't find it. The only thing I found was that, yeah. and that's in the, uh, the big book. But um, The only ones that can go I'll, on. I'll, I'll refer to the, the ones that are going on now. Uh, at um, Dana Nash's property, uh, I went up there and there was, no trespassing signs. I talked to the guy that uh, lives in the main house. If anybody knows where Dane Nash is, the one to the right is where Dana and Vivian live. They're both dead. It's, it's the house is in probate. And I had a complaint from someone who has something to do with the house. Something was going on, but I didn't get, get the gist of it at all. But I talked to the guy that lives in the, in the main house. He's married, I, believe, I figured, I, the way I looked at it, he was married to one of Dana's daughters and is now a divorced and lives with his children in the house. And I said, well, there's a mess over there by the stream and also there's some bricks over there. Can you, and I talked to Michael. I says, can't you, you know, do something about getting it? Oh, sure, I'll do it. Well, of course, I went by the other day. Nothing. Nothing's been done. Right, so my question would be, if we could, he's talking about how to do this. Could we send a cease and desist to the house of 190, which would be Dana and Vivia's house, in hopes that, with a return request, hopes that it gets to the right people. And if anything does happen, like somebody's going to buy it, we'll see this cease and desist and it will contact us before they do anything. Is, if, would you think that would be the, a good way to go? Yeah, could we also like slap a $50 fine on them too when they come in? So you Ooh, do this. The problem is who the people that actually are the owners of the house on record are dead. So be the trust or the bank. Something's going on. All right, so say they weren't dead. Yeah. Oh, then, then, then so you would like say you to said, the so we, so we have a cease and desist order. Right. And then the person comes in and they explain themselves. And then we say, okay, fine, straighten everything out, and there's a $50 fine. Right. No, that's, I have no problem with that. I just, on this particular I'm case, thinking, we, we have, we have nobody to chase. Right. But I'm just thinking, trying to hold people into the fire on doing if he, stuff. If you yeah. get hit with a monetary thing, oh, yeah. more likely well, to go, I'll well, do that again. I, I, but I, would, I think, as we talked before, first give them the cease and desist, see if they show up. Yep. And then if they don't, then order a, they have till the next meeting. We'll just use that. Right. Then we uh, issue a $50 fine, and however you want to, have that again go by registered mail and just keep going to that extent until um, the, the biggest thing is who's going to enforce in the collection. I don't know. Didn't we give Jerry a badge? I think. <laughs> huh? I thought we gave you a badge. Yeah. Well, they did. I gave my husband a badge in 73. What were we supposed to get? I think we were supposed to get photographs or anything until. Well, what I'll do, what I'll do is uh, about that again. I'll try and get yeah, I've seen I mean, this guy. Have you sent, me, sent us an email saying, twice come off and see Wayne and days. get your picture taken so you'd have like an official, yeah. you know. Yeah, something like that. That's, that would work. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll go up and see if I can get to see this guy and see, see what's going to go on. Then I'll, I'll call, call well, a couple I, I of would, guys and see what's, I'll let you know what's going well, down. That, that's already well, proved. Well, I would send the... Cease and desist first? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, right. Registered mail. Do it right now. All right. We'll do that. Okay. Then we'll probably get action. You might, yeah, because right. that's you show that to them as soon as you show up on that property, right? That's Wayne Norling. Norling is that how you say it? Yeah, yeah he, he does those. Oh, yeah, yeah that's a good put it, on yeah, a mine. You can put on a lane, you know what the guy said? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll put a paper punch and clip it along. <laughs> All right, another another thing is, is that on the bottom, it's uh, we're on the same thing as uh, I put finish six Harvard, I mean, six Harvard. Harvard. We have no we have no control over that. That is I, now I, indeed. Well, the state asked me to go up and look. Oh, but I didn't see him. I saw no trespassing signs, so I left. I went by there today. 
I didn't see anybody there today, so I saw his number on his truck, and I called it, left a message, and I said, please call me or the state, because there's a breach on the, uh, fill, the uh, fencing, so you could take care of it. So that was, that's the, court, the thing on 6 happened. So I, and then it was, it was, I was going up there for a request from the DEP, because the girl, you know, mm -hmm. so. I don't know if he called me, he does. If not, I, I don't know what I told him to call me or the, the girl down there. So, Reva. Was that, a name, was that a name, Reva? Reva? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, in, re in reality, you're just doing, you're just the messenger. Yes, uh, yes, uh, that yeah. is correct. Okay. okay. So, so, basically, from, from, what, from what I'm hearing is that the enforcement says that we can go on to somebody's property if. There's a complaint made as a conservation commissioner to investigate, take samples of whatever else to, to look at the property. Right. But there's a statute with the police that says you can't trespass on like posted property that says no trespass. Yeah. Right. Can we get some kind of? Yeah, like, uh, she, I, I've, already asked, yeah. I've already asked okay. the town council. Yeah. She, she hasn't heard back from yet. All right. Excellent. Um, yeah, I mean, does everybody else? I don't know. I'm just spouting up whatever I'm saying about the the whole fine thing and stuff like that. I mean, does anybody else have anything else? I th I think the, the only thing we should change in our bylaws, if possible, would be because it says up to. I think we should have initial initial fine of step two is however okay. it's to be worded. Um, initial of fifty dollars and then up to in increments of fifty dollars or something like that so it's in those bylaws exactly the way second offense will be third offense will be and then three hundred dollars each offense after that or something to that so it's so it's in what section is that Jim? section nine i believe one seventy one section nine seventy one enforcement yeah. all right and that's out of our uh, that's right off the conservation. That's right off the uh, town website. Okay. It's dated June third of two thousand fifteen. Can we change this at a meeting, or do we have to How change your bylaw? Um, what I'd like to do is change uh, one seventy nine one seventy one dash nine enforcement uh, section E, and have it state any person who violates any provision of this bylaw. Or regulations, permits, or administration orders issued thereunder shall be punished by a fine, initial fine of $50. Can you mark that one up? Oh, now I have to remember what I said. <laughs> <laughs> well, so well, it's on tape. <laughs> um, sure, you know something? Why, why, don't I, why don't I put this, why don't I write it down and then, uh, um, then we can just, but it, basically it'll say, uh, an initial fine of fifty dollars, and then um, additional fines and in increments of fifty dollars up to three hundred. Three hundred per day. Per day. Per day. Per day. Okay. Yeah, that per okay. day is. Is that per offense, or I mean, if the guy's getting Jerry, a fifty dollars fine for six weeks? Piece of eight and a half, eleven up, line paper right there, office. please. I don't want to ruin his. Thank you. Okay, that works. I get line. Do you want line? No, no. that's okay. Let me just put the words in there at the discretion of the board the level of fine. That way they were not tying our hands to a Yeah, I thought there was something I thought there was something else in there too that, that said that I, it might be in one of our books that says that uh, the person can appeal the fine to the town manager. And he, he has the discretion of either mm -hmm. cutting okay. it off or there whatever. There is a else. section about appeals there. Uh, by superior court. I'm almost positive I remember seeing it. In the, I think it was, we got that, remember we got that folder, that green binder for Abington Conservation Commission? Blah, blah, blah. That's where I got this. Did you? Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you want to just write something up <laughs> next time, and, and then maybe I'll do a little bit more investigating to see if there's anything else that belongs. All right, before we take a vote on it, why don't I, why don't I write it up for the next meeting? Yeah, and then um, we don't have to rush into it. Yeah, you do. We do. Yeah, because it has to go to it. It has to go to town meeting. Yeah, it's a change. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a change. So we'd have to bring this up to um, 
Is Mr. Buckley still doing the um, bylaw yeah. review committee? No, but no. I, I'll have to find out what what we have to do for okay. it. But I mean, it, it yeah, it has to go in way ahead of time. And that is our next town meeting is when? In the spring? No. April. It's, but it's, it's April. It, yeah, but things are done way ahead. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The wheels of uh, wheels, of, wheels of the town roll slowly. No, but the there's rules. timelines. I mean, we okay. we'd have to have a public hearing, an advertised public hearing, and the warrant has to go up. Yeah, yes, warrant. Um, Thank you. What is it, Thirty days before the hearing, the warrant has right. to be out or something. Yeah. So, so I'll have warrant. to find out timeline. Okay. Why, why Mike was doing that, Joe? You want to do an other conditions for? Street. I forget what's going on on Deal Street. Please. Sure, He's got like there's, there's two lots there or something. Or? Where's that? Where's your um Deal Street is one lot, it's down to one lot. It's down to one lot. You got it? Oh, is that it? Yeah. Oh, good. The one they just go down the house. No. And then he's putting the, the single house up. Okay. And he's this is the edge of the oh yeah, he's just on the edge of the buffer. Right. So right. he was doing uh he wasn't doing anything. Was doing erosion, erosion of sediment control. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you mean making a swale or something? Making something, something over, over, here. over here. Yeah. So a one, and it'll be what? Are we going to do 20 feet from the uh, what in the edge depth? So he's in the buffer, but he's not near the wetlands. Right. Right. All right. Okay. Because we usually do what, 20 feet? 10. 10, ten. ten feet? Ten yeah. feet. Yeah. So 10 feet. A2. He's near the middle. This is an A3. A4. He's not doing any dewatering. A6. Drainage and runoff controls. Any? Was five in there? Or no? no, no five. That's dewatering. So, um, he's got no structures or retention ponds, right? No. He didn't have a, he doesn't have replication there, right? No, no, no replication. No fish. No replication. Nothing in the wild wildlife habitat, no? Nope. Uh, on site conditions. Uh, G one. G two. G3, G4. Does he get any stock on? He's bringing some so in. He's, he's knocking the house down, right? Yeah, and he's, he's bringing, bringing them in. Building this up. Yeah. House so is already down. House is down. Like house is down. Yeah. So it's G5 mm -hmm. and no more than. What was it? No. 50? I think we did. 25? 20? 25? 25 or 50? Let's see. It's 25. Mm -hmm. uh, G6. G7. H1. No, it's not a subdivision. It's yeah. not a subdivision. Slash H1. H2. H2. H6. 
is age, age nine. Uh, I, I point one. So we ever get notified of when they're putting up, um, they just notice this one. Sediment one control? One. Yeah. Because the Conservation Commission shall be notified at least 48 hours in advance upon the date of which construction activities on the site are to proceed. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes you sometimes. get that. Yeah. Calls. <laughs> Excuse me. Sometimes are better than never. Yeah. What I've done. Signing. And are you doing an enforcement order on, on one? Yeah, yeah, we're going to. Yeah. Um, you don't have to. What? Did you understand it? Yes. Did you understand it? It's the last time we had the enforcement order. <coughs> um, I mean, we didn't get far. No, we, yeah. So, I mean. Any questions? Whether well, everybody's here? Everybody would sign that one and then tell me what you want to put in it. Thank you, sir. Um, there's extent and type of activity um, and what you want them to do. All right, That's if you want to screen. take a look at this and okay. mark this one up, we can mark this one up okay. as far as what you want me to put on the good one. Mm -hmm. That one for. That's the other conditions for Dale Street. Yeah. That goes with it. <coughs> what is this? Oh, this goes with it. No. This is a certificate of compliance for the partial. Yeah. Two partials, right? So what are you yeah, just, it's, it's also up there, the rest of it. Oh, but you want to sign? If, if, oh. Yeah, you, they need to be signed. Oh, so there's the other one. Sorry about that. Yeah, both need to be signed. <clears throat> um, when you're ready, I can have you guys pick this apart. Shoot. Sure. Okay, it'll, uh... But this is the order, enforcement order, and this is the... That's, that's the one we can mark up, so we'll and that's the good one, this the is signature. The good one. So the signature. So just tell me what you want to put on it. The enforcement, <laughs> for that, filling in there. What would you like to write in, Joe? What? What is it? What do you say? The enforcement yeah. order, right? Um, Violation of information. You can write on that one. Enforcement order. order. Here's the good one. You've got to sign the enforcement order for what? What are we doing? For what property? What are you talking about? What are we talking about? Refresh my memory. The enforcement order. What, what, do you, what do you want the enforcement order on, Joe? For Washington Street. Washington Street. <coughs> Nash. Right. You know the Nash. number? Nash's. Was I here for that one? Yeah. Just, just tonight said, he was talking about the, he was, that they had bricks and stuff dumped in the backyard. Oh, okay. So this is for the the house that was... Um, well, the one is, it's, it's in, uh, what did I tell you? Probate? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, I, I can't believe that. I mean, there's no... Sh I look at the house, you think it was abandoned. No shade, no nothing. So, I mean, something's a, a lot of stuff's going on, so... We're on Washington Street, is this house? Right, right from the know. golf course. It's 190. Was it is it the one house right, right where they across get the street or no? Right <coughs> in the golf the course. The old house with the the trailer in the driveway. One ninety yeah. Washington Street. One ninety. Okay. Dan and Nash pumping. The trucks were there. All, 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 oh, okay. Hundred years. Yeah. Well, I didn't know they died. Dan died. Yeah. Dan, Dan, yeah. <coughs> I don't know who the problem is. <coughs> 
and there's activity going on there, obviously. Yeah, well, like I said, I, I said to the guy, can you do something, and he didn't, so I just, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I wasn't, you know, trying to be a, a bit of a or anything, it kind of helped me out, and now I think that, um, Only off. you know what, you might as well, try, you gotta do something. Yeah. So, there was, so, <laughs> and, uh, so what I'll do is so um, got, um, I'll try and get to him and ask him to take pictures. If I can go on the property, take the pictures, then I'll call you guys. You know, if there's no no trespassing signs. Well, I'll, I'll see the guy first. Okay. No, 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 no. I, I like Michael. I've been through it. Yeah. Yeah. Like so I, I, well, I the cameras on. So this is what extent of type of activity? So you're saying that there's um clean the uh, clean so the debris out of the what are you yeah, yeah exactly uh, clean the debris <coughs> out of what is there out of the, the wetlands by the stream? How, 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 yeah. how do you word that? No, I, like I think that. that's what he's doing now. Yeah. The extent and activity. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, there you go. What he's doing now. Yeah. So what is he? Doing? Not what you want him to do. It's what. So there's debris. So the oh, debris uh, is dumping of. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, Debris, <coughs> construction debris. Construction debris, thank you, Mike. And um, construction debris and uh, branches and. Um, uh, the, the, the grass is there. Yeah. Oh, um, stuff like that. So I got debris, construction <coughs> materials being dumped. Yeah. <coughs> in the wetland area. Is that mm -hmm. all? There's nothing else? No. no. So 190 Washington Street, Acton, Mass. And yet you'll have to do the assessors. Uh, we don't know the name of the violator, location of the violation. No, it's just going to have to go to they're going to have to look up whoever the property on the tax bill is, or the owner on the tax bill. So we're saying, Jerry, you already spoke to them once? <coughs> I spoke <coughs> to the guy, yeah, once. Actually, I, I thought he was going to, he came in. When I was there, there was nobody around, obviously, and uh, come flying me, oh, who are you? And he saw who I was and said, oh, oh, Dave, Mr. Keller, how you doing? Because somebody co complained, call Nancy and complained, and he, like I said, he's either trying to buy the property, has something to do with the property, and was complaining about this fellow. Yes. <coughs> That's how yes. the complaint so came in, so that I could at least walk up and see it, and then, you know, leave and not cause them to get in no trouble. So we, we've spoken to... I don't know. We we'll just call him an agent. Oh, we have his name. the property. Uh, we have his name in, in the paper. No, no, you. Well, well oh, oh, commission. You, you spoke to. Oh, yeah, I get that. So I got conservation commission. Chairman. The commission yeah. has spoken to resident. 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 Yeah. Uh, what's, what's the other number? Of property. What's the What's the uh, main house number? One ninety. No. 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 There's two houses. <coughs> well, you, find a, find, you can fill it all. You yeah, can fill it, it all in. Yeah, she can fill that number in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the, 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 the person that, not one that you allowed. Nope, I didn't bring my map. Dwelling? I don't I know. Get it written down. It's all right. We got, yeah. Everybody signed that other thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got all right, beautiful. I didn't sign that. Maybe I did. I don't think we have to. No, that's the copy. That's the copy, that's Michael. All right. No we, they're already saying that he's going to fill it in on the government. Okay. Well, just an update on uh, Griffith's Dairy. <coughs> They've started putting in the walking trail, mm -hmm. and they do have silt fence along as a barrier along the uh, trench. Oh, do they? That goes Perfect. by the bridge. Yeah. Both sides of the bridge. <coughs> the berm up to the bridge. So no, it's moving along. What do you, what do you the want right them way. to do? Mm -hmm. What do you want them to do? Yeah. So. It's what's going on, plus you will want to know what we want them to do. Just put down yeah. there, just cl clean, up, clean out the debris. Give it back. Oh. Do, do you want them to come in? Okay. Um, 
Absolutely. Clean the debris and notify us when when is upon, upon completion so we can inspect. There you go. That way they will not put too much pressure. Contact us if any question. <laughs> hmm? Contact us if you have any questions. So just with the, the other. With the starting that, that walkway, the start out? Starts at where the house used to be, that end. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and it's at the bridge now. And he'll be on the other side soon enough. They completely enclosed the Patterson Street end with fencing, and the parking lot is completely fenced in with chain across the entrances. Oh well, that's so they don't want them to sink into the. They don't want the kids going. No, you can drive on it well, now, Jerry. Well, yeah, <laughs> I, I saw what you were talking about. <laughs> you can drive on it now. <laughs> It, well, it's probably the it second vehicle to go on it. The it hadn't been compact that they brought a roller in. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was the second vehicle. The other one was the machine that was doing the job. Because I went in with my, with my truck. And, Jesus, I thought it was going to get stuck. Put four wheel drive on to get out. Yeah. <laughs> well, they got gates up over there, and they're really yeah. doing a good job. We haven't had hunters out there yet. Hunters? They had a guy oh, on the deer out there, unbelievable. <laughs> they had two deer in my yard the other day. Yeah, they're in my backyard every yeah. day. <clears throat> they had a haul of hunter out behind Cape Cod Lumber the other day. I was oh, listening yeah. to it as skin. Yeah. He fell out of the uh, fell out of his blind. stand. Oh, broke some ribs. <laughs> yeah, it was interesting listening to it skin. So Nance just orders, right? The issuing authority hereby orders the following check if applied, property owner, his agent, or, or permittees, and all others to immediately cease and desist any from any activities affecting the buffer zone and or resource areas. Um, so I checked that check. Resource areas alterations resulting from said activities shall shall be corrected and the resource areas returned to their original conditions. I checked that. Um, a restoration plan shall be filed with the issuing authority on or before. Should I put a date in there? No date. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, to be determined. Go for a target date. Hope we're there. What's our next uh, meeting? <coughs> How about, what, what is this? Christmas? Oh, should we give oh it's the 11th. The 11th of December. December. Should we give them? Yeah. It's going to take a little time. Yeah. So what's today? Well, Today's let's let's <coughs> do the one in January, the meeting in January. Okay. It'll snow before then that we stop that way. January would be the ninth. Two thousand eighteen. That's a Tuesday. Yeah. Is it? Oh, it is. I'm sorry, the eighth. The eighth. <coughs> What's the next meeting? December eleventh. I'm miss it. I'm gonna have the What is continuing? Complete the attached notice of intent. We are not meeting on Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs> well, no? You guys can't put it that way, but uh -huh. <laughs> I missed it. Mm -hmm. Next the meeting, the second meeting in December is supposed to be Christmas Day, but no, no, I can't. Uh, <laughs> I will be here on the eleventh. Really? Yeah. I, this year I've been traveling everywhere. Where will you be? New Hampshire. <coughs> okay, you guys want to? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <coughs> what this says is after um, the first sentence or wherever it comes into, shall be punished by, and I've done this, shall be punished by an initial fine of $50, and for each violation thereafter, fines and increments of $50, up to $300 maximum each day during which the violation continues, and then you know, that's that just inserted into the, uh, does that sound okay? Mm -hmm. Yep. Is there any way you want to put a, at the discretion of the board? I mean, if you leave it like that, it almost says like anybody who violates or whatever <coughs> is going to get whacked with a fine. Well, nobody has so far, and it's already in here, it's $300 per day or portion thereof. All we're, all we're doing is just <coughs> um, 
well, who violates any provision, so it would be like this fella here that is violating the Wetlands Act, he will be, if he doesn't abide by this so cease and assist, he will start to get fined fifty dollars a day. Right. And then and then um, if we go back and we find that he's still not doing anything, we can increase it by fifty dollars up to a maximum of three hundred dollars. Per day. Per day. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. So just um, if Nancy can just do you understand you just to <clears throat> where, where it uh, I didn't want to mark up Jim's, but it says here shall be punished. In here it says, and, and I have started it there, shall be punished. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so that that's, the rest of it will stay the same before and after. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Do you have anything else? Oh, correspondence? No correspondence? No. Okay, uh, nothing else. Anybody might make a motion? We make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Nay. I guess I'm just going to do it. I want to stay. I know. Uh, uh,